It's no secret that dating in Singapore is really tough. Some people have expectations that are just too high, while others have just given up on the apps altogether. But when it comes to dating, there are some things that just never change. Like how when it comes to choosing where to go for your first date, you might want to avoid hawker centres. Or at least according to this survey. 1 in 5 Singaporeans say hawker centres are unacceptable for first dates. Now this was from a survey by Bumble, and of the 21% of people who said no, Gen Z's made up the most of them at 23%. I guess like with every generation, dating preferences will change. But let's see the rest of the survey results. So the reasons people cited for why hawker centres aren't ideal first date locations are because they are too hot, noisy and crowded. And 41% of respondents felt that visiting a hawker centre makes the date seem unimportant. Right, so I guess a hawker centre might feel too casual for a first date and that perhaps might leave a bad impression. I don't know. But if we go back to the survey results, it's only one fifth that said no, which I guess is not too bad because the survey also says that the majority felt that their perception of a potential partner would not be affected if they suggested going to a hawker centre for a first date. In general, 89% of Singaporeans are willing to go to hawker centres for dates, just not the first date perhaps. That's pretty fair because maybe after going on a few dates to get to know the person better, then you can decide, you know, go for a casual one at a hawker centre perhaps. But you know, at first glance, after taking all of this in, I would have to say that I don't think it should matter whether you choose a hawker center for a first date because it really depends on the impression you want to make. Okay, then the survey results continue to say that most expressed that hawker centers are affordable, convenient, and they have an abundance of food choices. Fair point. Also, the humble location sets the stage for down-to-earth connections between people. Yeah, I can't argue with that in terms of affordability, convenience, but also the down-to-earth connection bit kind of makes sense because you want to be able to you know level with someone on a first date and maybe the hawker center is a great place for that and so after the survey results were released it got picked up and shared all across the news with headlines like why gen z couples are saying no to hawker center first dates well we saw the headline it's not all of them but just a fraction but i guess it makes for a good headline so i took to ig to ask you guys what you thought about you know picking a hawker center for a first date and whether it's as controversial a topic or not and surprisingly it was. I think from all the responses I got, it was pretty much split down the middle because people seem to be pretty divided on the issue. Yeah, why should dating be expensive? I mean, in this economy, picking fine dining restaurants or fancy ass places for a first date definitely does stack up and burn a big hole in your wallet. So, fair point. Absolutely okay as a perfect first date unless you got a stuck up over atas mindset. Ooh, okay, hot take over here. But there is some truth to this because if you're taking a bold move to go to a hawker center for a first date, you gotta make sure that this is exactly the same expectation your date has. So I guess it comes down to making sure you understand the other person a little better before deciding to take them to a hawker center for a first date. Because for all you know, it doesn't meet their expectations at all and bringing them to a hawker center could just feel like a prank to them. Good food is good food, I know my priorities. Well, okay then, I didn't ask, but sure, good to know. Better have damn good food and a date goes and queues at the stall. Right, so this person kind of sounds like they are resigned to their fate of being at a hawker center for a first date and just wants to, you know, sit back, do nothing and let the other person do all of the work. And that point about having good food at hawker centers actually does make sense if you think about it because some hawker centers do be having good food. And honestly, that's the perfect reason to bring someone there for a first date. But maybe that's just me. I'll try not to, but if we both broke, then sure, why not? Yep, so hawker centers definitely checks the box on affordability for that reason. And then if we talk about the other camp of people who are outright against going to hawker centers for a first date, there were quite a number of similar responses like this. It's just not appropriate. First date is all about first impressions. I wouldn't say this is an absolute, but again, it really depends. You know, you gotta be able to pick a good hawker center for that matter. Not acceptable unless he cleans the table first with wet tissue and then lay out picnic table sheet. I mean, it's fine if you expect the guy to clean the table with wet tissue, mind you, but laying out a picnic sheet, this is not the park. You want my guy to be lugging around an entire picnic ground sheet for you? That's maybe a bit too much to ask for a first date. We will stay in friend zone after the first date. Ooh, that's harsh. Okay, flat out no. Can you imagine being stuck in the friend zone because you went to the hawker center, of all things? Not demure, not mindful. Now, I don't know how I feel about that. I already said earlier that it's perfectly fine if you want to pick a hawker center. You just got to make sure you've communicated that clearly. And at least both of you guys have agreed to it, you know? But the more I think about it, especially if you're going to an open air hawker center where there's like no aircon, for a first date, 
Maybe you want to rethink a bit. Ask them which one. If they said La Pasa, block, delete. Wow. Excommunicado. Funny this person brings up La Pasa because not too long ago, La Pasa was all over the headlines for a very similar controversial reason. Total lack of class. Woman gets backlash for dissing man who chose La Pasa for first date. That's it. Block delete. Then the article mentions what the person said. The guy told me that we are going to La Pasa. Seriously, why are men so terrible? I really don't get it. I don't know man, I'm done. I'm so done with this. Ooh, wow. This sounds like an ultimatum. I'm trying to recall the last time I went to La Pasa. Was it really that terrible? Is La Pasa really the worst place to go for first date? Maybe that's an exaggeration, I don't know. But maybe this guy really caught the person off guard and didn't even explain his thought process about why he chose La Pasa. And to nobody's surprise, this spun a whole lot of heated conversation online. Man, La Pasa is noisy, it's crowded, has touristy vibes to it, and the food is barely acceptable at best. Now, I kind of agree with that first point because, to my knowledge, the things at La Pasa are kind of pricey and on the higher side. And also, you would only really go to La Pasa if you either work in the CBD area or you're a tourist. So, yeah. I might be old fashioned, but first dates are essentially a time to make first impressions and also get to know the other person better. Best to be done in a nice, cool environment that's not too noisy. I don't think the budget of the first date was an issue, just that he probably could have chosen a better location for the first date. Pretty fair points. I mean, La Pasa isn't air conditioned for that matter, so you gotta brave the heat if you're going there. I brought my ex-girlfriend to Kopitiam for a first date because that's what we could afford. 10 years later, we got married. 3 years later, we have a child together. Now we're inseparable. It's not the location that matters. You guys are just not meant to be. Move on and don't make a circus. Wow. Okay, that was some harsh dating advice. This guy's got a pretty solid relationship, so thumbs up for him, I guess. I guess this is coming from someone with a lot of age and experience here, so there's definitely some truth to the point that it's not the location that matters, or at least according to him. But also, now I'm just wondering, does it make a difference if your first and many subsequent dates are at the hawker center? Would you find issue with that? Let me know in the comments below. So just like the survey results we saw earlier, people were pretty divided down the middle about whether or not La Pasa is an appropriate location for a first date. And of course, I dug deeper by asking you guys on IG what you thought about it. And here's what you said. Went for a date at La Pasa, ended things with said guy within two months. Wow, that was short and quick. I guess we got to consider that correlation does not imply causation because it's... Definitely not just because of La Pasa, it could be many other factors, we just don't know. But it's actually really funny if you think about it because maybe La Pasa was the sticking point in their relationship and they were arguing for two months straight. Too chaotic and sweaty for first date, unless his face stall is there and he said wear shorts. Oh wow, yeah, I never thought about it, but yeah, dress code also does apply here. Personally, I feel like location doesn't matter. Personality matters more to me. Yeah, we heard that before, and the survey results also can attest to this. I guess it's pretty clear that people still remain pretty divided on whether or not hawker centers are a good location for a first date. I mean, it's a hot button topic that's been going on for as long as I can remember. Just look at the number of street interviews that have talked about this. What is the worst place to be on a date? Like, Somewhere oh that's not air conditioned. I do my makeup very nice already. That's so hot, it will melt. Honestly, fair point because I don't know anyone who can survive in the sweltering heat, especially if you're someone with makeup on. Some people like to bring you to like eat hawker, let's like say, hey, very nice okay, food. I'm okay with that. But no air con. <sighs> Maybe not first date. Lah. Guys, climate change is killing all our first date locations. First day at Hawker Center. Slay. 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 Alright. Okay. Surprisingly, all said okay to that. Alright. Cheap and good food. Appreciation for local cuisine. It's not about the place, it's about the person. Now I'm wondering if it's something that, you know, it's easy to say but difficult to put into practice. Because imagine if you're, you know, going on a first date and then you're confronted with the news that you're going to a Hawker Center. Well, I would think any reasonable person might take a pause and hesitate a little. I like food so slow. I mean, it's the first date. Where's your effort? Come on. <laughs> you want me, you have to earn me, okay? Okay, earn me? I don't know about that. But it's really giving, if you really want me right, you should chase after me kind of energy. Real ones will know that reference. If the girl that I'm going to date be putting a lot of effort to dress up every day, I won't bring her to a hawker center that is so hot. I don't make her makeup. But all I have to say is, I'm pretty sure women would be really appreciative if a guy takes them out to some place for their first date that wouldn't melt their face off. I think if you want to date girls, you don't have money, then don't waste everybody's effort and time. Uh. Ooh, some hard truths over there. I'm not really sure if I vibe with that point about money because like I've said, you can be on the same page and decide that hawker centers are a good location just because it's convenient and affordable and that's perfectly fine. I think you're starting to see how this topic about hawker centers as a first date location is something that we've been discussing over and over again for the longest time. So much so that I've actually come across a street interview 
from over 10 years ago that was still talking about this same topic. Singaporeans will clearly yap about this until the cows come home. I don't think location or place or food is that important. Okay, what do you think then? Mm, conversation. So like the place shouldn't determine what the person is. So I think the, okay, maybe, maybe the location is not that important. I guess you can say from this clip that's over 10 years old that some fashion choices might change, but first date preferences might stay the same. If the food is size, why not? I don't make it complicated, so just simple and it will be very sweet. You know what? She has a point. She said it best. Simple, but it'll make it sweet. I think if we all went through life with that mindset, things would be a lot better. Live, love, love. I probably wouldn't go to a hawker centre because uh -huh. it's very noisy. It can be hard to talk to the girl. Right, you're going to be competing or perhaps even raising your voice just to be heard over the table. Not a good look. Surprisingly, more than half of the people we interview wouldn't mind a hawker centre for their first date. So that's the result of the street interview and it's pretty much similar to what we saw in the survey results earlier where the majority are still pretty much okay with hawker centres as the first date location. If we've learned anything from all of this, I guess it's pretty safe to say that at the end of the day, your first date, your choice. YOLO Say no no YOLO 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 YOLO